Good eve to you and yours, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant, and we are back for some more Icewind Dale 2. Uh, so, in the previous episode, we were running around this area, talking to all kinds of different people. We got a cool new item for Corgan, this uh, Tabard's Shield. And we are on our way to find Olap Tamewater, which is apparently the engineer here on the Targos Palisade. I still have these people to talk to, but I kind of wanted to start with Olap. Because I got very distracted in the, in the previous episode, and I need to focus up on my quest. But we will be coming back here, don't worry. So, found a dwarf. Okay, and that's the right one. Yes, all right. Quick save, just in case this triggers something I don't want. Seems every time I turn around, the ground is sprouting another crop of cell swords. Have you a post to report to? If not, go to Shawford on the meeting house to the south. He can help you. <coughs> Actually, he told us to report to you. Ah, he did? Excellent. I have me on command now, do I? Well, you can put your swords and weapons away, because that's the last thing I need. Eh, what's the problem? You see this section of the wall here? Well, I can't patch it up with air. <laughs> really? I'm beginning to see why they made you the engineer. <laughs> oh god, I love it. You got a clever tongue on you, sellsword. But if you want to earn another coin in Targos' service, you'll need to do a lot more listening and nodding. You hear me? Alright, engineer. What do you need to fix it? Oh, I already have the wood I need to fix it in town. But what I need is a way to get it here to the palisade, and that mule-headed merchant lumbar ground wall is being difficult. He's the one we've contracted to deliver the lumber. Well, I already spoke to him. Yeah, this is the guy we met in the, in the other area. He says the crane is broken, and he fears anyone else moving the lumber out of fear. Huh? And he fears anyone else moving the lumber out of fear that his commission will be in jeopardy? Uh, sorry, I gotta read this again. He says the crane is broken and he fears anyone else moving the lumber out of fear that his commission will be in jeopardy. Ah, okay. Now, now it made sense. Damnable humans, by Clangadin's fist, some of them have heads as thick as dwarves. Broken crane, eh? The damn flywheels probably snapped off again. Uh-oh, I'm beginning to see where this is going. <laughs> well, an engineer I may be, but a carpenter I am not. At least not the skill of my father. Go seek out Mida, Joran, at the docks and see if he can help that wailing babe Grandwall repair the crane. And assure that kettle-mouthed greed merchant he'll still get his commission, never fear. Uh, okay, well, can you get us a guide to take us there or bring him here, perhaps? I'd rather not abandon the palisade while Targos is in danger. Hmm, you have a point. Alright, I'll tell Swift Thomas to take you the fastest route through Targos. Just send them back right quick, alright? Uh, alright. Well, I I've spoken to him. Where can I find him again? The boys usually run outside the meeting hall. Okay, yeah, we know. Alright then. Easy as goblin. So now, I'm actually gonna speak to these two... Uh, are, are, is this the one? Yeah, Gable. You're Absolutely. See what he has to say. I see why they made you the engineer. <laughs> oh, that's it, Cadence. You almost had it. If you were trying to shoot the moon, that is. I'm going to wipe that grin off your face, you jackal. That gold's as good as mine. One more arrow and I'll send it tumbling off that wall. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, greetings. We're just engaged in a bit of a sport. No harm meant. What are you doing? There's a barrel atop the wall. Yeah, I think it's that one. Just to the north of us. You might not be able to see it at the moment with that strange fog that comes up, but it's there. Well, my friend Cadence and I have a wager. Whoever is the first to knock the barrel from the wall wins a whole month's wages. Goddamn. Aye, your wages, Gable. Your wages. Fine talk, Cadence, but you've been at it for an hour now and Timora hasn't even so much as looked in your direction. Those four gold are as good as mine. Four gold? By the gods, I had no idea that Targos was paved with such riches. <laughs> really? 
Can I try? Of course. Cadence, hold a moment. This mercenary wants to try his hand at knocking the barrel off. What say you, mercenary? Four gold if you knock it from the wall. Uh, ooh. I want to I wanna start this dialogue with setting uh, Another time, perhaps. Farewell. Because I'm not sure how, how this is going to start. So I'm going to turn off my rapid fire. Or rapid shot. Let's try this again. Well, if it isn't a familiar face. Something I can help you with, mercenary? That game of chance you're playing with, Cadence. Can I try? Okay. So, how about that longbow you're carrying? Done. Go on. Take all the time you need. If you knock it from the wall, then you've won. Okay. Well, stand back. Okay, so I, I, I could actually choose which character... Oh. Which character I, I I wanted to shoot with? Pew! Come on! Yeah! I'm guessing this counts as a win. Uh, well done. I suppose you'll be wanting your payment now. Yes, that longbow, I believe. Well, about that, you see, this bow was given to me by my father. Uh-huh, well, you shouldn't have bet on it, right? And now you get to pass it on, to me. Ah, here you are then, take it. Though it leaves me with almost nothing to my name. <laughs> you still have your health, so don't push your luck. Farewell. <coughs> yeah, bitch. If you didn't want to lose your longbow, you shouldn't have bet it. Ooh. Where was this gold from? Oh, I think it was from from Shofford. Okay. Uh, so we got a lot. Oh, is that it? It's just a longbow? The longbow is similar to the shortbow, except that the staff is about as high as the archer is, usually 6 to 6.5 feet. Or oh, 6.5 feet, sorry. <laughs> it has two advantages over the shortbow. Better range, and hence, it is much more accurate. Okay, so plus one to damage, and I think that's it. <laughs> Can gnomes use this properly? I mean, I mean, I think my composite shortbow might be better than the longbow. I thought this was going to be like a magical bow. Okay, so currently we have a plus 9 to hit on setting-ish. If we swap to the longbow, I also have a plus 9 to hit. One attack per round. And the damage potential is 4 to 9. While here it is 3 to 8. Okay, so I, I actually benefit from using the longbow. Okay, so we're going to take that. Ready. Um, let's save. We go? So we've got a shield here. we got a longbow. Pretty nice. So, no named characters here. Oh, but we do have something to loot. Or nothing, actually. <laughs> Spear. Oh, wait, these are named. Or this one is named. Tabard Mooncalf. Didn't I speak to his brother or something just a while ago? Oh, no, it's the same guy from the shield. Okay. I will not talk to him again, <laughs> in case he spots my shield and gets upset. Okay. Throwing... I guess I can take them. An archer and the Targo soldier. Oh, this is different. A halberd. Okay. Uh, well, the bullets I didn't really need, but whatever. Is this an arena of sorts? It is. Menon. Okay, are we gonna... Can we fight here or something? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Let me talk with Cordant. Looking for your post? No, I'm on assignment for Shawford. What's this enclosure here? 
This, it's a tooth circle, I believe it's what it's called. Ulbrich had us built this along with the palisade. What is it used for? Once we realized it might be facing a goblin tribe, or more, Ulbrich had us built this. Apparently, goblins tend to charge full ahead, and this enclosure is designed to hurt them if they break through the gate. Ah, makes sense. <clears throat> so then people can kill them from up here. We're building platforms on top of the enclosure for archers and spearmen, and it is hoped once the raiders are lured into this pen, we can wipe them out while keeping our losses at the minimum. Okay. But what's to guarantee the goblins will be driven in here? Right now, there's gaps near the front of this circle. The goblins could run right around this enclosure. I fear it won't be complete before the goblins choose to attack us again. If so, then we should expect a tough fight if they break through the gate. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, can you open the palisade gate for us? We wouldn't mind doing some scouting. I'm afraid I can't. Ulbrecht has ordered the gate sealed. Still, if the attackers break down the gate, there's little to stop you from roaming beyond the palisade. Wow, <laughs> okay. Hopefully that won't occur. Farewell. <laughs> so he doesn't open the gate, but he tells me that if it breaks down, I'm free to walk around. Wow. That's... <laughs> That's something. Okay, so <clears throat> the plan here is to speak to Swift Thomas. See if he can get us quickly to Olap's father, I think is what who we need to talk to. Or the merchant. I knew I'd see you again. See any more goblins? Uh, Olap told us you could show us the fastest route through Targos. Okay then, where do you want to go? Uh... I believe I need to go to the docks. Okay, he just teleports and teleports us there. I... I'm just wondering if this is his father because I think this is the only other dwarf we found. Jordan Tame Water. Yeah, okay, it is. Yes, I can do that. More than once you've crossed my path. If you plan on making a habit of it, at least you could do is bring a wine sack with you, or two. Something I can do for you. Uh, I spoke with your son, Olaf, at the palisade. It seems the crane broke and it needs to be fixed. Oh, now, oh now, did that fat fool lumbar sit on it? <laughs> and damn that idiot. I told him how much weight that thing could stand, but there's nothing to get past this fool's ears when he's wailing like a babe. Can you fix it? I... If someone had bothered to tell me the problem sooner, I could have had it fixed right quick. In fact, ye could even do it. How? I keep spares, especially when the shipping season is in full swing. Take this crane wheel and just set it onto the crane. should be ready to go without a hitch. Alright, well, we'll see about fixing the crane. Thanks, Jordan. I'm here. Is that all? Alright. So, I knew there was something to do with the crane when... When you have a container in the crane. So I'm guessing we're just gonna place this item onto the crane. So, Swift Thomas, take us to the town. Okay. I'm not sure if, it, if this is a lot quicker than just climbing up the steps, but... So, he's standing in the bridge. I'm trying not to forget that. And I have the... Yes, I do. Wait. Oh, the game doesn't actually stop when I go to the inventory? Wow, that's... I'm, I'm gonna mess things up for sure. <laughs> I need to pause first. Okay, so if I place my wheel here... Journal updated... Okay. Huh. New day, new problems. The lumber's moving along, but it's only a matter of time before some new curse gets tossed in my path. Someone should be watching that crane to make sure it doesn't break again. Wow. You're welcome, lumbar. Take care. Okay, so not much to do here. Let's get back to Swift Thomas and go back to the palisade. To the palisade. Yeah, this, this does help out a bit. And I like that the, the game makes fun of itself with all the fetch quests and stuff. 
Not a problem. Uh, so we need to get back. Uh, I was trying to search for the hole on the wall, but I'm guessing. Yeah, sturdy as a stone. So since we got the, the lumber moving, I guess they already fixed the, the gate. The wall, I mean. That's yeah, cool. Okay, uh, let's take Mr. Cordum and speak to this guy. Look at her, all patched up, waiting for a taste of goblin blood. Let's see the goblins try to break through that. Ha! You did good, you did. Now, if I were ye, I'd get back to Shoffer to see what other herons he needs you for. We'll do that. Take care, Olap. God, okay, I hope there are no more fetch quests, or I might start getting a little bit annoyed. We've done our, fa our fair share of walking around doing random stuff. I think I would like to rest, however, because... Yeah, I don't have a lot of spells left. So, if I try to rest here, what happens? You may not rest this time, okay. Absolutely. I do wish we could zoom in. Have you spoken to Olap yet? Yes, we settled the matter of the wood shortage. Excellent, and just in time. Another matter has cropped up that I need your assistance with. One of the archery captains stationed at the western wall, Isherwood, has requested more arrows for his men. Unfortunately, arrows are in short supply. Find him, see how many arrows he needs, and proceed to the Galloway Trade Depot. Return here when you've gotten Isherwood what he needs. Okay, well, we will go find him and see what can be done. We have actually already met the guy, but at the time, even though he mentioned arrows, we could not actually help him. So let's see if this time we can. I wonder how many arrows he needs. Not a problem. Okay, so we've seen this before. Actually, Shofford sent us here to see how many arrows are needed. Ah, Time Mora's eyes. Am I glad to hear those words? I feared he'd forgotten us. He had? <laughs> how many? We need 15 score we do. We haven't had a chance to ask that Galloway last to send them through the gate, so we've been sitting here. Chomping at the bit, uh, what? Chomping at the bit and hoping Grail would send a runner soon. Oh my god, he needs 300 arrows. So you need 300 arrows, something tells me that Didri isn't going to like that number much. I pray to time order you find Didri in a good mood. She's not like to part with them arrows easy, especially after everything else we've taken, taken from her. All the men are scared of her they are. Well, we'll see what can be done. We'll return after we've gotten the arrows. So I'm actually going to go there because um, I, I don't want to give him 300 of my own arrows. Setting it would be very sad. So let's talk to Mr. Swift Thomas again. Go into town. And try to get the arrows. So I went to Thomas because he puts us right in front of the Galloway Trade Depot. Stop going the other way. So this should be a quick trip. All right. Didri, help. You're back, I see. Lots of folks around town are talking about your bravery at the docks. Anything I can help you with? Actually, we have come with a requisition for some more arrows at the Palisade. What? Oh, nay, nay, nay. Your little band of cutthroats that call themselves the Guard won't be confiscating another scrap of iron. Wood or cloth from me, they won't. They've already nearly cleaned me out of all except the rats. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, I understand your position, but without, but without more arrows, Targos may fall to the next wave of goblin attackers. Targos is doomed as it is, goblins or no. Don't martyr Targos in my store, don't you dare. Not after all the bleeding they've done to me. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> and how dare you put your business before the welfare of Targos? Is this what you want your coster known for? The fall of Targos? Oh, you'll be sure to get plenty of business then. Uh, don't twist the issue. Targos has been bleeding me dry for the past month, and I've been forced to take loss after loss. Well, you will lose more if the goblins take the town. You may lose your life along with townsfolk. Either stand with them, earn their trust and respect, or you hold out on them and earn their anger when this conflict is over. Your choice. Ah, very well. I will see to it the arrows are delivered to the palisade at once. Cool. You have struck a deal with Deidre Galloway to get the arrows to the palisade. Farewell. A pleasure doing business with you. I'm here. Easy as and by the looks of the dialogue, it seems, once again, that this is all... Uh, my charisma score working. Stop going the wrong way. Hmm? Right then. So take us to the palisade. Yeah, there's a lot of running around in this first section, I can tell you that. Right. I... Okay, so once again, let's go to the archer people. Because I enjoy the dialogue, but I also enjoy killing, so... <laughs> Give me some monsters to kill. Yes, I can do that. Ah, look who's here. Welcome back, friend. Did he send the arrows to the wall like he asked? Thank you kindly. Uh, no problem, Mr. Wood. We just wanted to make sure they'd gotten to you all right. <laughs> well, look now. That old crow crail might <coughs> can be a bit stingy when it comes to dishing out the coin to us here on the wall. But I wanted to pass along some thanks from me, personal-like. Huh? Wait, what? Well, I could use 300 arrows if you can spare them. What? Is this my only option? I just brought them. Don't be daft. Oh, okay, it was a joke. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> I'm talking about these flasks. Take them. And they're burning oil, and they should help turn any clumps of goblins that come calling into candles. Just be sure you aim right and try to keep them in a narrow place so the oil can do your work for you. Ah, thanks, these flasks should prove useful. Very well. Okay, for a moment there I thought something had gone wrong and I was actually asking for the arrows back. But it was only a joke. It was only a yoke. And I'm, I think this is the person we are meant to speak to. Or, or no, wait, Gable? Oh no, it's... never mind. It's Shofford Crail. I thought Crail was this guy, but he's Gable. Never you mind. Never you mind. Can I rest outside? I would like resting. And I don't want to take the time to go back to the inn, honestly. Well, let's see. You're, as you request. As you request. Were you able to get Isherwood the arrows you needed? Yes. We came to an arrangement with Deidre Galloway. Isherwood has the arrows he needs. Excellent. I am in dire need of level-headed soldiers with initiative and solutions, and you are proving to be just that. I see Ulbrecht's trust is not unfounded. You have carried out Shofford's orders. The next task might be somewhat distasteful. We have a priest of Merkel within the walls, and Ulbrecht has charged him with speaking to one of the goblins that fell during the last attack. Yeah, so I know him. Call him. Yes. It was hoped he could question the creature's spirit and find out what it knows of the goblin troops in the region. If we could learn how many remain in the wilderness, or better yet, where their forces can be found, it would prove invaluable. In any event, I needed to speak to Colum and see what he has gleaned from the goblin. The other men will not approach him. Another fetch quest. I'll go hunt down Colum then. God damn it. <clears throat> so now I see why... <laughs> why one of the components from the Enhanced Edition is to make some of the areas um, progress faster. 
And, and I do believe that one of the options you had, or one of the components you could install, is to make Targos go quicker. And I'm guessing it's just to avoid all of this running around. Well, I didn't install it because I want to experience the game, at least for the first time, the way it was made. But I definitely see why someone would want to speed this up. Absolutely. Okay, so Mr. Colum, what did you learn from the Goblin? Uh... Shawford Krell has sent us here to see what you have learned from this goblin's corpse. <clears throat> I fear to tell you what I have learned, which is to say, precious little, yes. Well, I think Shawford will need a little more than that. The goblin tongue is not one familiar to me, and making sense of its words has been... difficult, yes. Ooh, my race knows something of the goblin tongue. Speak what the goblin says and I will see if I can translate. Uh, very well. It keeps repeating the phrase Vosh Hak, death, probably to Targos if the accent is on the Hak. Go on. Then it speaks of uh, of what? Ui Kelor Vazedrai. Yes, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't know what this means. We shall storm the walls, put your town to the sword, etc., etc. What else does it say? Hmm. Cabalus und Juntor Vazedre. He's saying something about a goblin shaman or sorcerer named Cabalus, leading the tribe to Targos. But it sounds like there's many tribes, and his tribe, the one attacking Targos, is just one of them. That's not good news. Hmm. Irter Cabalus Gotrag Vgotan. Vazedrei Julik. Huh. He's saying, just as we follow the three-headed beast, three of our mightiest, goblins I think, shall strike at you, and the other words sound like names, Kabalos, Gothrag, and uh, Vgotan, which means hound's tooth, or dog's tooth, or some stupid goblin approximation. Kernor Azeki, mm, and that word Julik again, yes. As we strike at you from below, so shall we strike at your walls like the closing of a hand. Then the thing falls silent. Nothing more issues from its dead lips, no. Nothing. If those three names are the goblin leaders planning the next assault on Targos, then we know who to hit first, and who to tell the archers to aim for. But what it said after that worries me. <clears throat> that last phrase, no? What does it mean? It means they planned a simultaneous attack on Targos' walls with the attack on the docks, which means the walls could be attacked any moment. I must tell Shawford at once, and we might want to stock up on as many weapons and armor as we can before we return to the palisade in case they attack while we're there. Yeah, so I'm gonna take a rest. As always, I am pleased to be of service when the coins are forthcoming, yes. Uh, okay. You'll get paid, Colin, don't concern yourself with that. I'll go report to Shawford now. Okay, well, first we're gonna I, easy as sleep. Is that all? So that we have our spells prepared. And I also wanna check my spell book to see if there's anything else I wanna take. Uh, because from this conversation, it does look like there's gonna be a battle, which I'm very much looking forward to. <laughs> uh, so. Jan Janssen. Can you learn this, by the way? Ah, yes. Learn the magic. <clears throat> I also wanted to give this to Viconia. And let's check out our spell book. So, for the goblins, I think the most useful thing we can take is actually sleep. So, I'll take this out. And put another sleep in. As for my clerics... I am going to take a Bane, that's for sure. Uh, I, I think I'm also going to take Bless. Because it helps allied creatures. I'm not sure if this only counts um, my party or if it also counts friendly NPCs. Uh, so... I think I'm going to remove Command because it's only useful against a single enemy. Okay, so in Domain, I have Chant. Uh, 
I also have summon monster. Shortening, guidance, remove fear. Protection from evil. This is single target, right? Yeah, single target. Doom is also single target. And armor of faith isn't really very useful at the start of the game, right? Gains a one resistance. Yeah, for every five caster levels. And Viconia, I think you can... Yeah, maybe take away Sanctuary and bring in Bless. Yeah, so she can take Bless. Okay. Uh, I'm a sorcerer, so that doesn't change. We are good. What can so, I do? Not a problem. let's rest. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, is this because we charmed the dog previously? <laughs> okay, what? well, maybe uh, he's counted as an enemy, but he is still sleeping? If you wish it. Okay, thank god. So, no more animal handling on <laughs> friendly animals. Oh, you had any luck setting that poor woman's to rest, uh, heart to rest? Yeah, well, I put that woman's spirit at ease. You shouldn't hear any more weeping from now on. Ah, cool. <clears throat> I have forgotten this. Nay, truly, a bringer of miracles you are. And blessed am I for your efforts. Thank you, friend. Thank you greatly. Yeah, your thanks is worth its weight in gold. If you understand my meaning. Eh, uh, now. Can you really put a price on a soul's peace and an innkeeper's thanks? It's the doing of good works that brings you the biggest payoff at the end of the road, so it does. Yeah, that's a fine sentiment, but gold is the language I speak. Hmm. Well then, here you are. All's my purse can spare, friend. And thanks again for your help. Okay. Do you have a rumor available? I am need. I am in need of rest. So... Uh... I'm just checking this. A good solid mattress... Okay, well, let's, let's sleep in Merchant. We deserve it. Oh. <laughs> uh. No. I don't want to kill the doggy. Okay, I refuse. I shall not kill the doggy. I am, however, going to see if... Um, there's going to be a lot of walking around here, maybe. Because we had an option to speak to that guy at the start of the game and tell him to watch over us while we rested. I... So that's what I'm going to try, because I don't want to kill that dog. Oh, and apparently Swift Thomas is always... God damn it. Where we need him. Can I rest right here? Ah, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. We do have the Salty Tavern. But I don't think the Salty Tavern has rooms. Which can be annoying. Man, I'm never using animal handling ever again. <laughs> because in case you didn't see, uh, in one of the previous episodes, I tried using animal handling on the dog just to see what it actually did okay. and apparently it made them hostile so yeah Absolutely. that sucks can I rest here <sighs> Easy as goblin pop -tart. crap I cannot rest here so I think what I'm gonna try is I think I'm gonna try to charm the dog again. Uh, see if that makes him friendly and allows me to sleep. Watch me go. This was so unnecessary. God damn it. Because I think the only place you have to actually try and rest in is the Weeping Widow. The guard I was looking for is no longer there. Are you awake? No, he's sleeping. What? So he counts as an enemy. So easily done. 
I'm gonna quick save this. Oh, I can't actually. Um, you wanna be friends? Oh, okay. I gotta, I gotta turn something off. Uh, this I think is actually a bug that I found out about recently in Baldur's Gate, and I'm guessing it's the same here. If you have pause on spellcast, uh, sometimes you're gonna have some weird effects, such as this one. He actually had three saves against my animal empathy instead of just one. Okay, but he is now friendly, so let's see if we can sleep. Okay, okay. Ah, yes, okay, cool. So we rested. Is that all? For 16 hours? For. S wait, for 16 hours? Is there like an option of rest until healed or something? Doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. So we have rested. And I think I'm gonna end the episode right here, near um, yeah. Swift Thomas, because I'm guessing that once we go back to the Palisade there might be a fight, and I, I want to enjoy that fight with, with time to spare. <laughs> so yeah, as usual guys, I hope you guys are enjoying Icewind Dale 2. Uh, I know these last episodes have been a lot of chatting and dialogue and not much action has been going on. Uh, I hope at least that you appreciate the dialogues as I have um, and I also do hope that there is going to be some action soon. <laughs> so uh, as usual if you have any questions, any suggestions, you know what to do, leave a comment. If you want to get notified about other videos coming into the channel, feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.